Hey guys, we're gonna do a simple side dish tonight. We can do it as an entree as well, uh, depending on the size that you make it and how hard you wanna make it. But uh, we like to do this as a side with like sausages and things like that in our household. But I'm just gonna demonstrate and show you how we're gonna do that tonight. So we're gonna make German potato salad. I've got German roots and was raised on German potato salad. It's one of my favorite things to eat. And so this is something I think that's pretty easy to put together actually, and why not do it on a griddle? So we're gonna give that a try today. All right, the first thing we want to do is we've got some bacon and we've got it's Wright's hickory bacon um, thick cut there's nothing better than thick cut right bacon so we're gonna go ahead and get that onto our griddle here and get that going And as that's cooking, we're gonna go over here to the cutting board and I've got an onion. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna do a, a thick chop onion here. So like that. And we'll get this on here. All right, so as this is cooking here, we're gonna give this just a second to get going. We've got a little ghee right here. We're gonna go ahead and top that right here onto that. and salt and pepper and go ahead and give our bacon a little flip here it's starting to get dark on us let me know if it's too dark for you guys um, trying to figure out how we're going to do this over the winter, obviously. I've got some lights set up out here, but um, it's getting pretty dark. So if it's too dark, let me know, and we'll figure out an alternate solution. But I've got a couple lights set up here. Here's one here. My phone's got a light on it. We've got the back porch light on. So let us know if it's a problem. All right, so the bacon, we're going to give just a little bit. We don't have to have it overly done. Um, if you overcook it, we're going to do a little more cooking later and it will just be way too dark. So we're going to give that just a minute. All right. So I've got the main portion of what we have to cook heartily out of the way. So I've got all my burners down below. We're going to let the onions just kind of marinate there a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of salt to them. And we'll do a little bit of pepper as well. All right, let's go ahead. And we're going to take this bacon off and let it sit over here to cool for a minute so we can cut it good. My wife just got a bacon kiss. All right, so now we got the onions going there. Now to make this super simple, you can buy potatoes that are already sliced for you, um, or you can slice them if you want to. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on here. And start getting these heated up a little bit. And we're putting that right in that bacon grease. We wanna capture as much of that bacon grease that we have in there as we can. Get that flavor. Again, we'll just do a little bit of salt and I'll add pepper later for that to taste. All 
All right, now with the bacon, we're gonna go ahead and chop our bacon in here. Just like that, so our bacon is done. Uh, we've got two eggs, and we're gonna take our eggs, and we're actually gonna fry our eggs over hard. So we're gonna break those yolks right away and let those set up, but we're not gonna mix them all up. Mix our onions right in there with the potatoes. Let that start to marinate a little bit. Exchange flavors. We'll get our eggs flipped over. Let those cook on this side a little bit. Add our bacon back in. All right, now with our egg, we're gonna go ahead and chop up our egg a little bit. Maybe. Normally in a German potato salad, traditionally you'll see the egg will be boiled and then slice a boiled egg. Uh, but you can do a fried egg just like this and it tastes amazing. And I'm gonna take that egg and stick it right on top over here. All right. Now flavors is where this really comes into play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of white vinegar. Now this is a great big bottle that I've got. But we're going to take a little bit of white vinegar and we're going to hit the potato salad with a little bit of that. And we're trying to put it right on top so we don't get it to go straight down to the griddle. I'm going to get it mixed up here. And then, uh, last main ingredient is we're gonna add a little bit of flour. And the flour we're gonna put right on top. And then we're gonna mix it in. The essential wanna fold it in. And the flour is gonna help thicken it up a little bit. It's gonna combine with that vinegar and it's gonna make it more uh, gravy-like instead of just soupy. And let that cook a little bit and add a little bit of pepper. Chef's privilege, we'll take a little bite. And we need a little more vinegar.
Вон. All right, we'll spread this out just for a second, let it get hot. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's all that really takes. Go ahead and take it to the container. We'll stick it in there. All right, so there's our finished product, kind of what it looks like. It's a little messy since we threw it in there, but um, you can see what it looks like in there. And I'll give a fork to my wife here, and I'm gonna take a fork. We'll dig in there, try to get a little bit of everything. You can see egg, bacon, onion, potato, all in this bite here. That's pretty phenomenal. It tastes great. What do you think today? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, this is a great family favorite of mine. Um, so my mom used to make this for me regularly, and this is my favorite meal growing up. And so it's something that I wanted to learn to kind of make myself and master. And this is as close as you can get on a griddle without actually doing a skillet in the house. So very easy to make. Um, you can see right here, it took about five, seven minutes for us to make this, put it all together. Um, definitely suggest trying it and do it with ham, do it with, uh, any kind of sausage that you want and you can get your traditional German, German meal that way. So, all right guys, we're going to go inside and enjoy this. Have a good one.